like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, heck, we're even on TikTok. We're excited to engage with you. We hope you'll join us moving forward. Good morning, it's Andrew with The Market Mindset. Today, we're gonna to be speaking with the CEO of Reina Gold Corporation, Michael Wood. It's been a couple of years since I've seen Michael. In fact, it was back at Minds and Money uh, two years ago. So it's gonna be great to catch up with them, talk about the project. It's uh, similarities to name to Reina Silver, uh, which we've spoken about before and I've done interviews with uh, before. And this is going to be an interesting conversation in regards to a district, district scale exploration on two major gold belts. I believe there's four projects and it's covering about 570 square miles. So let's get talk to Michael Wood and see what they've got planned for 2022. So good morning, Michael. How are you? Good to see you again. Yeah, good, Andy. No, no, all good. Yeah, thank, thanks for taking the time. And great, great to chat. No, well, yeah, definitely excited. I want to hear about Raina Gold. I mean, we I kind of mentioned in the, in the intro here, you know, people have heard Raina Silver. And let's just jump right into it because people think Mexico, they think silver. They don't necessarily go right to gold, but this is part of the thesis, part of the whole team and the, and the, and the, the whole structure of the company. Let's just start with what you're doing and, and let's just get right into it. Yeah, exactly. No, and look, hey, look, Rena Gold is really Peter McGall's brainchild. When we were doing Rena Silver, Peter said to Jorge, we should do gold exploration as well. Like, Northwest of Mexico is wide open for gold exploration. So we've been working on it in the background for a couple of years, and we've put together what we think is a great portfolio of assets. We've got four, four properties. We're really excited about every single one. But the initial focus is La Gloria. Um, this is a 24,000 hectare package. We, we put out some initial samples, which we're delighted with. And moving towards drilling starting next month in February. So, um, you know, the, that's the property package. Uh, if we go conceptually about the company, you know, why why is Peter so excited? What the brainchild? And really, you know, Peter's American. He's he's grown up in the part of the world. He's from Arizona. You know, that part of the world, California, Arizona, Nevada, has produced so much gold and silver. But over 350 million ounces of gold have come out of those three U.S. states. Over five percent of the gold ever produced. And Nevada still produces over 5% a year of global gold supply. So, you know, Peter's like, there's so much opportunity. The geology is the same. These gold trends have been identified really since the signing of NAFTA in 95, when foreign capital and expertise has flowed into Mexico, come down from the U.S., right? And they extend, and they could potentially extend a lot further into Mexico as well. You know, pro pro projects like uh, Prime are further down on some of these trends. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you know, it's going to be interesting how far they go. But, you know, we focused up at the border where we know they're there and we know the land, we know the terrain, we know the people. Uh, under Peter and, and Doug, we have hired a lot of great local Sonoran geologists. Um, Ariel Navarro is a third generation prospector from Sonora. His dad has found, I think, five mines in Sonora. He's a very famous guy, Alberto. Um, so, you know, Ariel is, is running things on the ground for us under Peter and Doug's guidance. And Ariel has brought in great geologists. We've got guys from Fresno. You know, Fresno have the biggest gold mine in Mexico, just up trend from us, La Herradura. There's over 16 million ounces of gold being discovered there. Uh, you know, it's a monster, monster pit. Uh, yeah. So, you know, that's the potential in this part of the world. Uh, and we, we put together people that understand the properties, have worked at these properties. So we've got guys from Fresno that have worked there. We've got guys from uh, Agnicol Eagle that have worked at the properties over on the Mojave Sonora Megashire. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Over on the Sierra Madre Gold and Silver Belt. And then we've got a, guys from Alamos Gold as well of the Alchinati mine, which was right next door to our property. So, you know, we, we've hired people that understand, A, from the area, understand the geology, understand the terrain, understand the people. Uh, that's, we think that's key for operating in Mexico. You know, we really want local Mexicans. So um, that, that's kind of the team and the concept, Andy, that we've been working on and delighted now to kind of come out into the public. Uh, we raised the gold public money actually last August uh, in, in summer, and we closed it mainly just... Most of it closed 3rd of September. Um, and then we're hoping to be trading actually before Christmas, but I think you know, things are just a bit slower. With the exchange, exchange is a bit tough right now. Yeah. From yeah, so <laughs> there were a few delays. We finally got approval, I can't remember when exactly, just like second week of December. So, you know, we, we went live on the 11th of January and yeah, great to be on the market now. And 
we're really excited about progressing the Gloria over the next kind of six to nine months. We can go through it in more detail later, maybe, but you know, we've identified a lot of targets. We think there's some pretty, pretty. The team is very confident in the drilling targets we've established already, so we want to you know get out, show the market drill results. That's why everybody wants to see. Yeah, I'll just throw that in there. I mean, you rang the bell like a week ago, not even a week ago. Uh, so this is fresh for everyone else. I mean, it's a lot of work to get to, to this point for yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, a new a new clean capital structure, 66 million shares out roughly, yeah. some options yeah. and warrants. Uh, so lots of room there. And this is like a, a technical a technical person's dream. And I don't want to get too much into the, the technical because a lot of my followers are... Uh, are more generalist, but they want to kind of they want to know that what's what's so exciting. And part in part, the market never reflects samples. You know, we got soil samples, we've got this and that. But for those in the know, like when you've got say a Peter McGaw, that can be very exciting because it is uh, it's a it's an indicator to them uh, uh, that you know what we're, we're we've got some good sniffs at some interesting targets. And really, at the end of the day, that's it. You're trying to build up the, the best targets that you can go for. Uh, and uh, I'll just throw it as well. You got $13.6 million, so you've got lots of money to do it. Yeah. And, and like Andy, like an interesting fact is this property was more, basically just explored from a kind of capital market Canadian perspective in the period of 2006 to 2013, when it was m- m- majority of the land package, not exactly the same. We have a little bit more. It was owned by High Vista Gold, High Desert Gold. They changed the name at one point. And uh, the highest sample they ever got was 8.9 grams. They did 5,000 samples on this property. They never got higher than 8.9 grams. We've just got 93. <laughs> I mean, 46, <laughs> 36, 24, 20. I can go like, I, like, you know, it's, I think that kind of speaks to the team that we've yes. put in place. I mean, fantastic. And yeah, I don't say, I think, you know, uh, the, the general market consensus is people don't really understand sampling. Uh, they're just told drill results is all that matters. So fine, yes. you know, it is what it is. This is not a, a, a sprint either. This is a marathon. You know, you don't discover a mineral deposit in a matter of weeks. It's no, going to no, take no. a bit longer than that. So, you know, we, we're excited to be on the board. There's no rush. Uh, you know, I, you get you need buyers and sellers on any stock. So we're, we're very happy with what's going on behind the scenes. And we want to deliver substance. We don't just want to be seen as a, you know, a short-term play. We want to deliver results and, you know, then gradually kind of grow the company over over a period let's see let's see how it goes and but you know we, we can talk i think we mainly just talk about like gloria for now but the, the other properties are also fantastic so you know we have four um, yes and we're delighted with all of them so i mean you've got four different ones and, and that's tough to pick a favorite and it's what 570 square kilometers that you have yeah. as well which yeah. is enormous so this is district scale yeah. this is big which also means, you know, everyone have a bit of patience. It's going to take a bit more time uh, than you're chasing. Let's say you're chasing, you know, narrow, skinny veins down two kilometers. That's a different story. That's an all different geological story and thesis. <laughs> this is very different. And I also appreciate when people are, are say, "Listen, uh, we're going to take some time on this because this is a business. We're not just trying to run a stock up to maybe then sell the company to someone else and they'll take over." It's no, no, no. We're going to take this very methodical. We've got the team. We've got the expertise. Uh, and what would have moved a stock, say back in like early 2000s or 2008, where, you know, great soil samples, the stock goes up 20%, then this, it, it's, it ladders up is today, you know, people, they've been told that I'm at fault too, to say, all that matters is the truth machine. So they don't care until the truth machine. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, the truth, the drilling shows you what's under the surface, right? The sampling leads you to your targeting, and then you want to drill and start discovering, you know, like this vein, that's 93 grams. It's, it's like a vertical vein is 360 degrees. That's a, the, ten, the, the terminology that geologists use. This is 352 degrees. So it's basically completely vertical. Now, we, are, we will definitely put a drill bit into this. Now, it could go down 10 meters, then it could fall. It could do that. It could go down two kilometers. You know, like, yes. who knows? Yeah. You don't know until you start drilling. So yeah, I, think, I think it's a decent, decent view. And you know, there's a lot of risk in this industry. Sure. People should take their time, be informed. And you know, from my perspective, I just want to get people aware of what we're doing. And then, you know, hopefully there's meaningful drill results come and people are already looking at it. And then you know, people can make an informed decision on whether or not they want to understand. And that's the, the best approach is that, you know, you don't have to chase after a lot of these things is that it's, it's all about collecting data and letting people be aware of uh, the risks associated with the different projects. I mean, we are in spe- a speculative sector, mining, uh, that, but it's always 
appreciative whenever you can mitigate those risks with the team that you got. It's a brand new shell, so everything's clean. Uh, you've got a lot of wiggle room and the expertise that you're bringing to the project because you can get into this project uh, with a cleaner structure where someone else might have you know, hundreds of millions of shares out. And that's, you know, that's, those are different stories altogether as well. But whenever you identify those risks and someone can look and go, I wonder if this, this team has, has what it takes. And we're happy to get this story out because of the success of Raina Silver as well. Um, and also the, your neighbors around uh, and certainly the, the board and the, the, the management team you've put together. Yeah. Uh, also on the board, we have two great geologists as well. Uh, you know, we have uh, Steve Robertson, who's a fantastic geologist, worked in Imperial Metals for 24 years, played a, played a big part in Red Crisp, which is a monster of gold mine. And, and Cacho Molina, who was uh, running core mining in Mexico. Uh, he was head of exploration, then he was GP of core, just stepped back from the full-time role in 2020. These guys are fantastic geologists as well as Peter and Doug, as well as Ariel and all Ariel's guys. So, you know, we really have a fantastic team. It's fantastic. Uh, everybody is very excited about La Gloria and the potential. We're just finding multiple targets across this property. And, uh, you know, we really want to understand it better uh, and, you know, start to show people, yeah, under the surface. I think, uh, interestingly as well, Andy, the, 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 previous, the previous operators, they did a lot of shallow drilling. I think they, they became a bit capital constrained. And then they reverted to the basically RC drilling and the average depth was 60 odd meters of the holes they put in. So, um, you know, that was in different times that, that they, I think they raised reasonable capital up to 2008 and then they, unfortunately, the market dried up. Yeah. It was tough to, to, tough to raise capital and operate. But you know, we, we, we're delighted with the capital we raised. We actually, we'd raised $3 million privately into Rainer Gold and then we want to raise $5 million on the Go Public Round. And we raised 10.5 because when we went out to the market, like a lot of good people wanted to offer us a lot of money. And yeah. We didn't want to say no. Like, yes. and, you know, so we took it all. And uh, now we're, we're in a nice position from a capital fund. And uh, yeah, we're excited to be exploring. Just in the in the big, uh, sorry, in the main zone area, Andy, we have three targets in the main zone. We have what's called Big Pit, which is shear zone running across the proper the main zone. We have the bottom Pique Bajo, which is the high grade quartz veinings. And then we have Plasters which is uh, intrusive rated mineralization and then some in-situ mineralization. And you know, why, why we've got three different styles of mineralization within a 160 hectare block? It's 1.6 square kilometers here. That, that's something that's fascinating the team. You know, yes. What's caused these changes in the style uh, in a relatively short period? So you know, it's, it's something that all the minds like Peter and Doug, you know, they love exploring. Then this is the kind of thing that excites them. They don't care about like you know building up an obvious small deposit. They want to like unravel this puzzle and hopefully find something big. Uh, but you know we'll, we'll we'll see what how it progresses. But yeah, I mean from our side we want to start drilling and we're well capitalized in this part of the world. It's it, it's quite quite economic. Uh, we're budgeting two hundred US a meter all in, so yep. two million US for for ten thousand meters. Uh, about 2.5 Canadian, I think, in current money. So, you know, we, we'll focus uh, on drilling. And the view is we've already got a lot of targets. We can basically hope, hopefully the plan is we just keep the drill rig running most of the year. Um, but we'll see how it goes. You know, let's see how the initial results are. If they are as we expect and hope, then I think, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going. But maybe we have to pull back and go back to the drawing board at some point and reassess or, or move to a different target. So, I mean, we'll just start on the main zone, but there's so many targets, Andy. We, we definitely want to... Go east of the main zone. We believe the shear zone is extending east and west. We want to go south of the of the quartz veining. We believe the quartz veining is extending south and southeast. We want to go north of the main zone. There we have a stockwork system. There's veins visible at surface at the team have already tracked for 300, 400 meters. And then west as well is very interesting. Uh, particularly to Hadal, who's come from Fresno. He was working at La Herradora up the, up the road. Now, La Herradora was found it set about 40 meters below the Sonoran Desert Sand and Fresno discovered this monster deposit. And, and, and the Western part of our property is similar. It's just flat Sonoran Desert, a lot of cover. So we definitely want to explore more there and start having a look under the cover and see what we can find. So we'll, we'll focus on the Western part of the property at first. Uh, I mean, it's a big land package. Just, just a regional fault that we have mapped across the Western part is 32 kilometers in length. And then if you can't start to put out the square, I forget off the top of my head that the, the, the square, the square kilometer number, but you know, it's, it's, it's there's a lot of, there's a lot of targets. I mean, it, it, when Doug first went to the property, he, uh, he called me the first day after his site visit, he called me up and said, Michael, we need to hire more people. <laughs> there's so much potential here. Yeah. So yeah, we've hired two more geologists since then. And, uh, 
yeah, uh, we, we just, we're, we're delighted to have the properties. We're delighted to have the money to properly explore them. And we're delighted with the team. Um, I mean, what more can you say? I mean, that's, I mean, you've, you've told us kind of, you know, the, the thesis that you're working to work with. We just have to wait for the data and that'll be coming relatively quickly. Uh, so that's exciting as well. And, you know, more than, more than competent uh, staff and team and, and technical team. So, I mean, if anyone's looking for a, a gold story, this is certainly one to, to throw at the very least the side of the monitor to keep a look at uh, because you don't get, this quality of team together that are obviously this excited um, to, yeah. to test such a cool thesis. Yeah, no, actually, um, just just actually this this week, uh, we've been invited to the TD, the conference at the end of January, which is fantastic. And that's an institutional conference. So thanks so much to TD for inviting us. Rainer Gold will be there. I'm delighted to be there. I think you know, we're very fortunate for such an early stage company to have the opportunity to present and have meetings there. So that is a big deal. You know, I think great. again, that's, it's great. Thanks. Thanks for that. And we really just want to be getting the word out at the stage. But this is great. This uh, I'm really appreciative for you to spend the time with us to, to, to let us know about this because especially a new company with a new year, fully cashed up with that kind of team. Uh, it's definitely, definitely something people should consider. Yeah, no, no, great. Andy. it's great to chat. I mean, uh, thanks for taking the time yeah i mean we just really want to get the word out and explain to people what we're doing and uh well yeah very excited to be now a publicly traded company and uh see see how the year progresses i, I think you know we're, we're kind of hopeful that over 2022 we can have some meaningful results uh, and progress the, the glory quite quickly excellent well th good good luck at the conference and we look forward to seeing yeah. any news and any data that comes out we'll be watching thanks very much andy yeah take care we'll talk to you soon yeah you too bye bye